Hi, I'm Don Lafferty with Objective Imaging. In this video, I'd like to give you a brief overview of our new Glissando Personal Desktop Slide Scanner for Microscope Slides. So the unit is here. It's designed to be a very small, yet high-speed, high-performance scanner for doing one or two slides. I can do 1x3-inch microscope slides, 2x3-inch microscope slides, as well as two 1x3-inch microscope slides. Uh, we're running the Glissando software on this monitor. So what we can do is simply dive in and start scanning. So we say, I'd like to perform some scans. And then it comes into the scanner interface. And then we say, new scan. It presents the slide holder to us. We open the door, pull out the slide holder, put it in the slide, put it back into the holder, pop it in. We tell it on the software what type of slide we're running. As I say, we can do two one by three inch slides, one single one by three inch slide. We tell it what the name of the sample ID would be, whether we want to use a barcode in order to read it from the label, the type of scan that we want to do. So if we're happy with that, we can just say, okay. What it will do now is go and acquire images of the slide to create a preview so it can detect the tissue automatically it also acquires an image of the label, so that we have an image of the label recorded. And we'll also have the ability, if it's got a barcode, to read 2D and 1D barcodes in order to get the sample information from the slide. So once it's finished, we'll see an image here on the screen where we have detected the tissue that's on the slide. We've put a scan region around the tissue. We've also set up a focus map so that we can measure the focus and do, this, do the uh, final scan. So if we're happy with this, we can just say, all right, that's fine. Let's go ahead and start the scan. And now it goes off and runs the scan. So it's now performing predictive focus or autofocus on all the predictive focus points. It's got a very fast autofocus system. So this will be done quite quickly for the nine points that it's chosen for this tissue. And then it performs the scan. So now we're do this, doing the scan. As we can see, we can see this in real time. So as the image is being built up, we have it available on the screen for us. Uh, to look at and make sure everything's going okay. Once it's finished, we then can have a, um, various tools that allow us to explore the image and look at it. We can use the mouse and simply use the mouse wheel to scroll up and look at the image. You can see the sort of image quality that we're getting here. We can just pan around and have a look. We also can use the slide and label images, particularly the slide image, to simply select an area we want to look at and move around and navigate that way. And as we zoom out with the mouse wheel, we can see where we are. We also have sort of a virtual magnification, so although we've scanned the image using the 20x plan apple lens that's in the scanner, we can select any of the virtual magnifications that we have. So if we wanted to look at what the image would, uh, the screen image would look like if it were a, effectively a 10x lens on the microscope, we can select 10x, and here's our 10x view. This is what a 10x lens would look like if we had it available. We can even go above the 20x and go up to 40 and say this is what the 40x image would look like as well and various magnifications in between. Now we have a live image view here on the bottom left so that if we wanted to we can use the image that we've acquired as sort of a map and select areas and click here and move back on the high resolution image to see the live camera image. And We have a tool here that allows us to swap these images so that we can see on the main screen the live image from the camera so that we can do manual focusing and examine that area of the tissue. We can do an autofocus at this point um, uh, we have an on-screen joystick so that you can explore the slide that way and so forth. So that's a basic scan. The image has already been saved away so we're ready to either export this image to a viewer package, let's say an online viewer package, or we can go ahead and scan the next slide. So let's do that. So I'll switch the image back and say I want to do a new scan. It will then present the holder to me. I could come in, add a new slide, start right here, put that in, pop this holder in, 
Um, this ha sample has a barcode on it, so I'll just go ahead and say OK, and we'll see it read the barcode. So again, we're going to acquire, acquire the preview image of the slide. We're going to acquire the preview image of the label. That's what it's doing now. As soon as it's got those, we should see the slide image here on the left. Um, update with the new image. Okay, so now we've automatically detected this tissue. Um, and you can see it's drawn a box around these two tissues. It's put focus points only in the tissue for us automatically. Um, we do have the ability at this point, if we wanted to change the scan region, we can just select one of these handles and um, position the area to scan exactly where we want. We also can see the barcode here. There's a 2D barcode. And we've actually put as the sample ID the uh, text that we read off the barcode. So if we're happy with that, we can just say go ahead and start scan. And we can scan this one again. So we've chosen 17 focus points across this tissue. It will now go through and do the 17 autofocuses to set up this focus map, and as soon as that's finished, it will start scanning. So this is the main scanning phase for the software, where we're actually acquiring images, and we can just acquire as many as we'd like. Uh, today I'm going to acquire four different types of samples, so this is our second. Um, there are other aspects of the software, so there's a viewer, so when we get the four images, the four slide images acquired, I'll go into the viewer, show you what that looks like. And of course, there's also a configuration side where we can define settings for different sample types. We can do general calibration of the system if we had to do that. Normally, that's only done at installation. So most of the time, we'd be do, doing routine scanning as well as uh, viewing, local viewing, or exporting these images and uploading them to servers or whatever else the, the use of the image might be. So it's about halfway through the scan. Um, this is what we call our turbo scan cruise scan with predictive focus happening in real time while we're scanning and the tissue is being built up as we go. We can also at this point actually view the slide so even while it's scanning we can come in and zoom up and have a look at what it's doing. Uh, we can pan and basically go through the different operations that we want to while the scan is taking place so we can zoom back out and see where it is. It's 90 percent complete now so it's almost finished. So I'll let it finish up. And again, once it's done, we can basically go over to an area and start zooming up and having a look at the, the sample. So we can basically see what's going on here. We can also use the, um, uh, the preview image as our, as our guide to select areas um, and go from different, different spots while we're going on. Um, so that's that. Let's do another slide. This is a TMA slide. Go ahead and add that. Cut that in. All right. And we'll choose a different name at this point. So we'll tell it we're using a TMA. Give that a name because there's no barcode on this sample. Say OK. Again, we'll acquire the preview images, detect the sections of tissue that are on here, and then go ahead and do the scan. All right. So here's this TMA slide. You can see that we've actually put focus points uh, within each of the detected uh, tissue cores, if you will. Again, we have the ability, since we're pausing to approve this, we can move this around, sort of tweak it exactly where we want. We can skip this step, so during the uh, load phase, we can check a box that says just go ahead and run it without any pausing. But uh, otherwise, uh, we can uh, go ahead and say let's scan this. We'll scan the TMA slide. And now we have 39 focus points, and this is where a fast autofocus comes in handy. So we can get through all 39 of these points very quickly. I guess this looks to be about one second for autofocus. You can adjust the range of the autofocus to accommodate different types of samples. Um, we can probably speed this up even farther if we had a very uh, thin area and a relatively flat specimen, but these settings seem to be working very well for a broad range of tissues.
Okay, so now we're doing the scanning. And we're about 20% complete here. And this TMA, as you can see, is occupying a pretty large fraction of the overall um, slide area. So we're, this is at 20x again with a 20x 0.75 NA objective. So we're covering a very large chunk of the slide, probably about 70% of the slide here with this sample. We do have the ability to cancel scans if we wanted to. We can come up here and cancel the scan near the progress bar. It also tells us exactly how, where the images are going. This is a tiling uh, system that uses stitching. So we're about 650 tiles into it. So this, this scan will finally be something like um, 704 four tiles for this, this particular scan. We have information here available as well, including the sample ID. If we had a user login, it would tell us who was scanning. Uh, when it was scanned, the type of scan that was being done, uh, the number of features detected, the size of the resulting mosaic image in, in pixels. So we have a, an image here that's about 49,000 by 33 or 34,000 pixels. It's an area of 27 by 19 millimeters that we just scanned. And the scan process there took about, um, let's see, about two minutes to scan this um, 27 by 18 millimeter area. So it's quite quick scanning and so forth. So we have other information available to us as well. Again, we can zoom up, have a look at things, um, and scroll around as much as we need. We could use the, uh, once we've got, let's say, an area here, it shows us here on the map what we're looking at. I can just simply point in an area, click on it, and it'll go to that spot so I can very easily and conveniently have a look at this and inspect it. And we also, again, have the live image here. If we wanted to uh, go back to the full view and, and autofocus, we could do that. So I've got one more slide to scan. I'll go ahead and do it now. So I'll say new scan. Put that in. There's a magnetic slide holder, so as I get it close to the being pushed in, the magnets take over and pull it fully in for us, which is convenient. We'll go ahead and say OK here, and here's the checkbox here at the bottom of this dialog where I can uncheck to say pause for, for user approval or not. So let's we'll leave that on for the moment so we can see all the steps. Again, so it's going to go off and acquire the preview images and uh, the label image. There's no label on this particular slide, so again, I'll have to sort of type in the sample ID manually, but that's no problem. Okay, so we'll call this brain. And uh, we see here that we've, uh, we can maybe extend. There's a light area. It's very light here at the bottom. So if we haven't detected it, we can easily sort of adjust for that. We can also add focus points quite easily. So we just right click with the mouse and add as many focus points, maybe where it's missed some areas, as we'd like. So now we've prepared that to scan. We're happy with it. So we'll go ahead and say start this scan. 17 focus points. It'll get through them very quickly. Less than 30 seconds to do those, probably less than 20 seconds to do them all. And then once it's finished, it's going to do the final scan. This will be the last scan I'll show in this video, so you can see the various types and ways that we scan. And then I'll show you the viewer portion of the software, so you can see how we can very easily go and reload any of the slides that we've already scanned. And uh, I think that will be it for today. These are very typical slides. You see there's some debris and so forth on the outside of the slide, um, outside the tissue section, and um, the autofocus has been able to cope with that. So we didn't uh, even pre-clean these slides. We just took what we had, and we've come up with a pretty good result here. So we'll go ahead and zoom this up, have a look at it. Okay, there's the scan finished, and we'll zoom on up, and you can see 
good quality scan. Everything's in reasonable focus. Not seeing any stitch lines. They're obvious. So that looks quite good. Great. So um, we also have various other tools. For example, you have the ability to come in and edit the focus map if you needed to. Um, you can toggle the scan region on and off. You can go ahead and uh, do things like redetect the features, perform scans without refocusing. So uh, there's some extra tools here, but most of the time it's a very simple one or two step process to scan the entire tissues and get everything more or less automatically set up for you and scanned. So if we go to the viewing section, we'll come here to the viewer, and you can see here's the scans that we've done in our session here today. We've done four scans. Um, it shows us an image of each of the scans. If I wanted to reload one of the scans, I simply have to double click on the scan. It, it will load the mosaic for us, and then it will switch to the view that we had before with all the information about the scan that we've stored away. We can zoom up, have a look at the scan that we did a few minutes ago, uh, look around. Again, all the tools that were there before in the scanning mode are also here in the viewing mode, so we can use this as a, as a sort of guide. If I wanted to load another of the scans that we did, let's say the very first one, uh, here we go. And we have that too. We can look at it. Um, and it's all there for, uh, for us to enjoy. Uh, the system can export images and upload them, so we can export images in various formats. We use what we call a surveyor workspace format, which is understood by a variety of third-party programs uh, currently. But we can also export big TIFF, um, bitmaps, and so forth. And we also have um, connections with various third-party applications that can allow our workspaces to be uploaded to servers for online viewing and sharing. So that's it for our demo today. I appreciate your time. And uh, our website is objectiveimaging.com where you can get more information about the company, our various scanning and automation products, and the Glissando slide scanner itself. So thank you very much.